At the end of the last video, we unlocked the Heart of Gilinor, which also means I now have access to Vindicta. A Dragon Rider Lance would be very cool, but I know I'm a little bit underleveled for the boss. So in order to not make the same mistake twice, I'm going to be going into practice mode here, and I thought we would start this episode off by trying to get our first ever Vindicta kill. So yeah, let's get that done. There we go! I just killed boss! We got the kill, but that definitely wasn't feasible to camp for a long time. If you're looking at the drop rate of a lance, you would have to spend so much time getting these super slow, inefficient kills with that setup, so I'm gonna work on some upgrades. I don't think I'm far off being able to get like decent two minute kills though, so I think if I can get up to level 90 attack for Elder Rune weapons, and I can also get level 70 prayer for Piety, I might just be able to properly do Vindicta. Now, one problem with being a hardcore Iron Man, I don't really feel like going into the wilderness and using the wilderness altar that acts as a permanent gilded altar. So if I want to train prayer, I kind of need to start training construction and start working towards a gilded altar. Talk to the estate agent. I'm pretty sure, is that where we hire a butler or is it somewhere else? I want to say Artie, but we'll check here. Yeah, it's definitely Artie, cool. Things I know a whole lot about. It's level 48 construction. So this is going to be a little slower till 50. Soon as we're 50, it's good. It's level 49 construction. One more level till we get a better butler. That's level 50 construction coming in. I can now hire the demon butler. It should make this a little bit less tedious. Thanks, bro. Your services are greatly appreciated, or rather, were greatly appreciated. And now we have no use for you. So I'm going to, I'm going to fire you. 51 construction. Let's keep it going. Level 53 construction. Let's keep it going. Level 54 construction. Can we get dartboard? That's a thing? That's 55 construction. And we don't have carpal tunnel yet. That's 56. Ooh, that right there is level 60 construction done. Thank you, Demon Butler. You were extremely helpful. 60 construction done. Most important thing there is we can now, as far as I know, make a large pen at the player on farms. So let's go and go and do that. Welcome to your new home. 12 seconds later. Third Jungle Strikes task complete. No hex crest yet, so we're gonna have to keep on doing them. Ooh, we just got ourselves an HP level. We got our first kill count at Krill in the last video, and it was a lot easier than I thought it would be. Obviously, we are on a hard course, so you wanna make sure everything's pretty safe, but I am 100% confident that I can get Krill kills without any significant risk to my hardcore. So, mixed in with the Slayer, and whenever we get a Greater Demon task, we're gonna be here. I still don't have an extra life, so as always on this account, let's try not to die. Oh my god! Oh my god, second kill of the trip! And there we go, our first God Wars drop! Oh no, there's no way, dude. Alright, cool. Good start. Plus up, focus up, and then go back to back. Ugh, not even a back to back, that's so unlucky. Ooh, 77 magic. Oh, that's exciting. Cool. That's a Steam Battle Staff. Do we, do we want that? I think we want that. You know, I'll take a Steam Battle Staff. It probably does something. Um, I think that's my first effigy on this account. That's fun. Is this what freedom feels like? <laughs> no, this is not good. We're not keeping it like this. I'll do it for a kill though, just because it's kind of funny. Wait, have I got another magic level? 78 now? Wow. Okay, so this is really good XP per hour then. We just got ourselves a ward of subjugation. Not the best thing to get, but still, it is actually an upgraded shield for me. I can drop the mystic one on the floor and it's two uniques in one hour. I will absolutely always be okay with that. I am calling the trip there. It was good though. We got another item. I don't know why it feels like this took a long time. It was probably only like an hour or two of just opening the doors, but opening doors and then hopping worlds has gotta be one of the worst training methods in the entire game in terms of fun per hour. 
So I am very glad to say I have now finally unlocked safe cracking. The plan is to get level 90 thieving for player owned ports. It should be very, very quick. It should be good GP. We're just gonna absolutely fly through this. So if you see in the future clips in this video or the next video that my thieving level just jumped up by like 10 or 15, that is the power of the safe cracking. That's kind of cool. A little bit of a milestone there. 1800 total on the account. Not bad. I mean, it's not, it's not good, but yeah, it's not bad. Ooh, wow, 73 thieving and a million coins. And that is level 91. We're going to be 99 in like, I don't know, a week. Yeah, that's cool. My first death task. So also worth worth remembering, um, this gear, dragon gear is power armor now. So if we are to get dragon gear, it's actually very useful. That is level 80 Slayer coming in. We can now use the Abyssal Vine Whip. Two more Dust Devils. Oh my goodness. We're actually completing the task. There's absolutely no way. There we go. 75 Slayer points. Oh, I am so good with that. All right. Give me the cannon. Let's get out of here. That is task complete. Not bad. A lot of seeds. Good chunk of XP. Let's go get another one. Task complete. Another one. That's task complete. Let's get another one. There we go. 87 attack. Three more levels till sweet, sweet victory. This is going to be the last kill on the task. And then we'll check our kill count. And see how unlucky we've actually been. Maybe we're just like on drop rate. That's possible too. That is a hard clue scroll. Which is not the item we needed. So let's take a quick check. We have killed 426 jungle strikes. So hopefully we get a hex crest soon. Let's get a new task. Who would win? One adventurer with level 87 attack or one hex cresty boy? So it doesn't really matter what I say or don't say. Hex crest! Oh my god! Yes, dude. Absolutely. That took like well over 500 kills. And we're done. Almost at the end of the task too. We picked it up. That's going to be so key for uh, for next time we get a greater human slayer assignment. That means we can actually go to Krill with the damage and accuracy buff. Let's go. I'm really happy with that. Good work, team. Good work, team. We stuck with it. We parked the bus. Okay, that's the end of the Reaper assignment. Not bad, actually. That's my 20th in a row as well. So, you know. That is level 81 in the Slayer skill. Rarari. Ooh, that's interesting. So, I mean, my range level is, is literally terrible. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> 52 range. I don't think we'll be doing that anytime soon. But... I think that means for me, I need to start thinking about training my range skill. Absolutely beautiful task complete. Another 75 bonus points too. All right, there we go. That's fire giant task complete. We're about to level attack, but let's go grab another task. Honestly, I can't turn down a greater demon task where I've got a hex crest. Like if I hadn't got the hex crest, there's no way I take the task, but you kind of have to. It should just be really, really fast. Sometimes the question shouldn't be like, can I do it? It should be like, should you do it? And the answer is probably, probably not. Ooh, that is level 79 magic coming in. One more level and I will actually be able to go to Hellware. That's kind of exciting. Another really good way to lose the hardcore. Then again, that's like part of hardcore. Oh my goodness, another garb of subjugation. What am I gonna do with two of them? We got one for the Zami components. Your boy goes back to back. Oh my god, your boy actually goes back to back. That's a Gotsu shard. Huh. Level 80 magic coming in. That's a actually a huge milestone level right there. That's exciting. I like that. Ooh, I think that means we've got a 100 kill count at Krill. Not too bad. That means we've had a really long trip here. It's unreal. That is level 88 attack coming in. We're almost there. Two more levels till big 90. An amulet of ranging. What are the stats on this thing? 32 range bonus. Okay, well, we just found our best in slot range in the amulet. That's pretty cool. I really enjoyed this task. It was unreal. Honestly, one of my favorite tasks. I'll, I'll put it in the top five for sure. Let's get another one. Level 53 range. Thanks, Cannon. Not to worry. We do enough of these and we'll be, we'll be 99. Oh, I just got 82 Slayer. Huh. Alrighty, that is, that is task complete. Not too bad, made about, what, 600 KGP? Four Myth Dragon kills, four Salvage. I just got a Hellhound task and I don't have a Dragon Rider Lance yet, obviously, so I've got an idea. Man, like, it just, like, it's worth it. It's just, 
Rip. I'm doing it. It's absolutely worth it. Let's go get our task done. Beautiful task. Keep it going. Task complete. I will take my 493 coins. And now, we get Hellhounds. We can make our own loot stream. We'll give everybody watching like 10 GP and then it'll be perfect. Holy, that is a big boy. All right. Wow. At risk of sounding like a broken record, I would love to see these Elite Slayer creatures reworked because they're extremely hard to hit. They've got a ton of life points and they don't drop anything special to the point that in most cases, they're not even worth killing. And it's such a shame because that's one of the things that old school does incredibly well. Their Elite Slayer mobs have a chance of super rare drops and different boss encounters. And I would just love to see something like that done in RuneScape 3. But anyway, we took out the big boy. He didn't drop anything. He gave me a thousand XP. It's uh, pretty standard. That is level 89 attack incoming. One more level until Eldarune, Vindicta. Lots of great stuff coming out up here. Let's get it done. 85 constitution. We can now use reprisal. Oh, perfect. Now we just need to go to Telos and grab one really quick and then we're good to go. That is my 100th task in a row. We gain an extra 225 points. Unreal. I've spared you guys throughout this video, but I'm pretty sure this is my fourth time having to go and do Cabbage Face Punch Bonanza. Not my favorite mini game in the world, but those VIP tickets are absolutely worth it. Yeah, so we made we made about a million coins from that one Slayer task. I'm gonna go hand in the contract, and then let's get another one. Bunch of money, bunch of XP, bunch of seeds. We are now 190k from 90 attack, 11k from level 83 Slayer. Not too bad. That is level 83 Slayer which gives me spiritual mages. So we can actually upgrade our boot slot and get ourselves some dragon boots. So hopefully I will actually get one of those tasks pretty soon. And update on the attack, 140k from level. Dude, my blood pouncer is doing a literally terrible job. Bro. Please, man. Please help. Thank you. Dragon boots, yes, dude. Oh, I'm so happy with that. That was not likely to happen before getting the level. I had like a 40 kill window to get that done in. We now have nine strength bonus, 49 armor, power boots, done. Iron Man luck is coming through. Now we just kind of need the same at Vindicta. All right, guys, here we go. The final spiritual mage. And just like that, level 90 attack completed. We can now wield Elder Rune Weaponry. Just popped up right there. That means we are ready to get to boosting our stats and making our Elder Rune stuff. Let's get out of here and make some Elder Rune. I didn't feel like getting a spicy stew boost, so I'm literally boosting my mining from 89 to 90, mining one ore, lobbying, and then logging back in and repeating. So for the first time on this series, I'm actually gonna say the Stone Spirits are coming in clutch here. I wouldn't be doing something like this if I needed a lot of Light and Dark Animica. Obviously, it'd be way better to just get the level, but for right now, I'm itching to get some Elder Rune stuff. So I'm gonna get the base stuff and we're gonna gradually upgrade as we go. That is all I've got for you guys in this Hard Cry Iron Man episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know there wasn't that much action in this video compared to some of the other ones and I did want to say this should be the last video in a little bit that doesn't have any like higher tier PVMing in it. In the very next episode we're gonna be getting our first kills at both Vindicta and Hellwer. I've got a fight kiln planned and there's a lot of really good stuff coming up. So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate your continued support on everything I'm doing and outside of that I hope you're all doing well. Have a good one and peace out. I will catch you in the next one.